Let's see, what do we have here? That's a nice level 4 air defense next to a level 7 anti-tank gun. Oh, okay, another level 7 anti-tank gun. Nice. In the factory, we have a heavy tank MK3. Not the greatest, not the worst. Level 14 generals. Hmm. Okay, so this looks to me like an atomic age base with good defensive buildings, but it's, you know, lacking a little bit on the offensive end. Totally fine, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong. Oh, God. Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to politely sh** on a warbase that you should never ever ever want to strive for, because one way of learning what you should do is to learn what you should not do. Let's get to it. My first reaction to this base is that it makes me physically uncomfortable. Let's talk about this thing right here. You don't lose any resources from war, so there's literally zero point in protecting these farms. All your markets, mills, and farms go on the outside of your warbase. Also, by choosing to protect these resources, this base pushes all the defensive buildings to the outside, which is definitely not what you want. Look here, there's this random block of pretty good defensive buildings, but it's completely exposed with no walls protecting them. And speaking of walls, this base has a mix of level 7 and level 8 walls. These are walls you get in Gunpowder and Medieval Age. So the walls on this base are 6 to 7 ages behind. Your walls should never be that far behind your age. One or two ages is fine, it's, that's understandable, but this, no. And while we're still on the topic of walls, let's talk about bastions. Bastions are best arranged within your walls, and they're best suited for tucking in things like anti-tank guns. Putting bastions on the outskirts of your base and protecting houses? No. And let's roll over to this mercenary camp here. It looks like the base is running a bunch of raiders, a tank destroyer, a T-62 tank, and some infantry. This is cute. You know, it's, it's like rolling up to a Chinese buffet, take some veggies, you take some meat, you take some rice. It's a little bit of everything. I'd recruit these mercenaries into my camp too if I enjoyed losing. You should never run a mercenary camp like this. Especially at Space Age, you should be running the biggest, baddest tank destroyers you have. Raider mercenaries are virtually never worth it, and neither are infantry. On the topic of troops, it looks like the barracks troops are pretty much maxed out. but not the factory troops. The problem with this is that in the current meta, you should be running mostly factory troops in the higher ages, for example from Global Age or Atomic onward. So maxing out the barracks troops and not the factory troops is kind of a backwards progression. And speaking of attacking troops, the base only has one airstrip, and it's running a heavy transport which drops paratroopers and a fighter. In Atomic Age, you're given a second airstrip, and along with the Amelia research in the university, it brings your plane capacity to 8, and it's easily one of the biggest power spikes in the entire game. So why this base doesn't have a second airstrip is really beyond me. And I'm no expert on paratroopers, but if you only have 4 plane spots, you're better off running 4 fighters. A single paratrooper and a fighter is just a waste of space. This needs to stop now! And finally, let's talk about the Forbidden City. The whole point of this wonder is to make it harder to get the town center destruction star, but putting it on the edge like this with no defensive buildings or even walls around it, they've basically just wasted the wonder. Whether it exists or not doesn't make a difference for this base, since you could just take it out with a few infantry. With this placement, they literally could have built any other wonder besides the Forbidden City and they would have gotten more value out of it. All things considered, it's not surprising that this this base just gets rolled over in war, and I wouldn't be surprised if it gets completely wrecked in multiplayer rating either. Here are the important takeaways from this polite roast. Know what's worth protecting and what's not worth protecting. Your war layout and town layout have different protection priorities. Keep up your walls. They're a huge asset in this game, and they might be tedious to upgrade, but if you're a competent attacker with a half-decent museum, you won't have that much trouble maxing out your walls for your age. Bastions, mix them in with your walls and anti-tank guns to maximize their value. Sure, your houses give you workers, but you don't need to protect them, I promise. If you're getting into Global Age or even Industrial Age and beyond, your armies should be mainly oil troops. Barracks troops won't cut it anymore, unless you like losing. 
airstrip is super, super important. Don't leave Atomic Age without at least seven or eight planes. Be mindful when you're building and placing wonders. If you're going to build a forbidden city and put it on the edge of your base like it's a farm, just forget about it. You're better off building anything else. Or you could also uninstall this game and go play Candy Crush. Sugar Crush. That's all for this episode of Polite Roast. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed, and I will see you all in the next video. Good luck out there, and have fun.